you a lot of thought goes in you just think you can't stop thinking you know how devastated these families are I just want to see a society go and getting away from murder I guess I still haven't cried for DeKalb yet, but I will. It'll catch up with me when all this is gone, and I'll be alone, and it'll dawn on me what really happened over there. So when is all the warring going to end? You know, it's never going to end. I'm, I'm just shocked, you know. I guess I've been in denial. You know, Columbine was 1,000 miles away. Red Lake is 750 miles away. It happens right here in, in the school that I used to go to, I mean, it's our school here, and it's just, you know, it's no longer safe. You're in my shop here where right now I'm between first, second, and, and going to be third coats on these crosses, and then I'll sand them down and caulk them out, and then they're going to look gorgeous when they're done. It's just, it, you know, it's, you know, you've got to do your best job. I want to do my best job. I always try to do my best job. And I'm never hurried. I, you know, it sounds funny that, oh, Greg's always got five or ten crosses in stock. Well, I do. I'm giving my first fruit, which is being a carpenter. So I make time to do that, of course, whenever. Yeah, I, I am controversial. I do make mistakes, too. It's very often, you know, I put up a cross for somebody that's another faith. For example, at the porch collapse, one of the girls was Jewish. But they didn't attack me for that. They understand what I'm doing. I know it's a secular college, and I know schools are not supposed to have God in them. But what hope is there if these parents don't think they can meet their children in heaven? I just went up there the next morning, and I actually had a couple of names already before the press conference. It was like Cross Hill here. But it was by itself. It wasn't in the bushes, it wasn't in a snowbank, it was just a peaceful, surreal kind of a place to put them. It was, I just felt like this is it. As soon as I saw that hill, everybody that goes up to there, it offers them that they did what I did. They get to go and put something there to remember. It's, it just offers it for, it's a personal trek up that hill to put a memento up there. I was talking to one parent a couple of nights ago and they, she said that when she saw that on the hill there, that she didn't know what she was looking for, but when she saw that, she had total peace, that her daughter's in heaven. I talked to too many victims. I don't know how I managed to not let it depress me, but the, the reason it doesn't depress me is because I know that it's offering them what they already knew, hope.